Quantum mechanics is more than a century old, and physicists have argued about its meaning for almost as long. One of the most beloved interpretations comes from David Bohm. It has it that quantum mechanics is really about point-like particles that follow a guiding wave. This interpretation, now called Bohmian mechanics, has now been ruled out by experiment. That's a pretty big deal after 70 years of argument. You could almost call it progress. In the standard formulation of quantum physics, everything is described by a wave function. The wave function itself is not observable. We just use it as a tool to calculate the probabilities with which we observe measurement results. In quantum physics, we can't predict exactly what the measurement outcome is, just this probability. It's therefore a non-deterministic theory with a fundamentally random element. Bohmian mechanics, sometimes called pilot wave theory, was proposed by David Bohm about 70 years ago. At first glance, it seems to be just a reformulation of the mathematics of quantum physics. One takes the wave function apart into an equation for a guiding field plus the equation for particles moving in that field. One then says, well, but we didn't know exactly where the particles started. We just have a probability distribution of starting positions. And correspondingly, we get a probability for the possible end positions. This means that the observations in Bohmian mechanics are still probabilistic, but one chalks up the probability to our lack of knowledge about where the particle really was. This rewriting of quantum mechanics is appealing if you prefer working with particles. But it's not just a reinterpretation. For one thing, in Bohmian mechanics, you can really only measure particle positions, whereas in standard quantum mechanics, we measure all kinds of different things, energy, spin, momentum. And this is why in Bohmian mechanics, you have to dance around quite a bit to explain why a spin measurement is really just a measurement of the position of something. The other issue is that if you take the formalism seriously, then Bohmian particles are physically real. It's this latter point that the new experiment has just bluntly ruled out. What did they do? For this experiment, they let photons, quanta of light, travel in a thin gap between two mirrors. In the one mirror, they've tiny valleys carved in, so that creates a basically one-dimensional waveguide. And the mirrors are not perfectly reflective. A small part of the photons leak, and that allows the scientists to measure what's going on inside the waveguide. The waveguide first gets deeper so the photons have more space and then it suddenly makes a jump and gets thinner again. This is like a sudden block and for the photons it's like hitting a wall. But just before the block they add a second guide next to the first. This is close enough so that the photons can tunnel from the blocked path to the other. What will happen then is that the photons will tunnel into this other waveguide and then distribute into this. A tunneling process in quantum mechanics means that it's possible for a particle to go through a barrier even though its energy isn't high enough. If the particle didn't have quantum properties, tunneling would be impossible. But with quantum properties, it has a chance. The question they want to answer in this experiment is what do the photons do after they tunnel? This is an interesting question because Bohmian mechanics makes a prediction. It says the particles just sit there. They have basically zero velocity. So what they measure in this experiment is how the second waveguide fills up the one into which the photons have tunneled. And they find that the photons spread from the point where they appeared. This means they didn't have zero velocity. That is, their result directly disagrees with the Bohmian mechanics interpretation. But it is, of course, neatly compatible with standard quantum mechanics. But what does it mean? Does it really mean that Bohmian mechanics is wrong? Well, yes and no. It means that you can't identify the particles of Bohmian mechanics with the particles that we actually observe, like the particles in the standard model. But in some sense, we knew this already. Because the particles in Bohmian mechanics are point particles, and the particles that we measure are 
not. They have spatial extent. They interact. They smear. Some of them have careers in politics. Personally, I never understood why people like a theory with point particles. I don't think that something infinitesimally small can be real. That said, I was thinking we'd never make progress on that, and yet here we are. For my bullshit meter, I give it a 1 out of 10. It's a really neat experiment, though I think they're slightly overstating the relevance for Bohmian mechanics. So, Bohmian particles don't match the particles we measure, which I suppose makes them like most of my life goals. Well defined, internally consistent, and entirely unobservable. I used to get a lot of scam calls. I found out that this happened because my phone number had leaked from some websites I must have once signed up to. I now have a new phone number and I'm signed up to Incogni to prevent that from happening again. You see, each time you open a website, it'll try to collect data about who you are and where you are and what other websites you've visited. If you then sign up for a website and fill in your personal details, they can and often do make money by selling your private information to data brokers. Most countries have laws against that and you can ask for your data to be removed, but doing this takes up a lot of time. Incogni automates the process of getting you out of those databases. You sign up and they'll contact the big sinners, request that your personal details be removed, and they'll keep on doing that. And if you want, send you updates about the progress they're making. I'm glad there's now a simple solution to stop unfriendly people doing nasty things with my personal details. Incogni is super easy to use. You sign up, give them the information they should look for, and they go to work, like within a minute, basically. It's really solved a problem for me, and maybe it'll help you too. If you use our link Zabina or the custom link in the info below, you'll get 60% off of Incogni. That's an amazing deal, so go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.